Welcome to Junior High School Math Series. Let us discuss inverse variation. Let us begin with the definition of an inverse variation. The value of y varies inversely as the value of x. If there exists a non-zero constant k such that y is equal to k over x, or equivalently, xy is equal to k. The constant k is called the constant of variation. Inverse variation as a power. The value of y varies inversely as the nth power of x if there exists a non-zero real number k such that y is equal to k over x raised to n, where n is an element of the set of positive integers. A proportion can also be used in relation with indirect or inverse variation to solve problems where some quantities are known. The following proportion is one of the several proportions that can be formed. Let us consider x sub 1, y sub 1 is equal to k. Since in an inverse variation we have a constant k, then we can have another ordered pair xy in such a way that x sub 2, y sub 2 is equal to k. Since the value of k is a constant, we can equate x sub 1, y sub 1 is equal to x sub 2, y sub 2. Dividing both sides of this resulting equation by y sub 1, y sub 2, then we have the proportion x sub 1 over y sub 2 equals x sub 2 over y sub 1. The inverse variation as compared to a direct variation. In a direct variation, the variables vary in the same way. That is, if one of the variables increases, the other increases. Also, if one decreases, the other decreases. While in an inverse variation, the variables vary in the opposite way. That is, if one of the variables increases, the other decreases. Hence, if the graph of a direct variation of the form y is equal to kx is a line with a slope k that passes through the origin, the graph of an inverse variation of the form y is equal to k over x is a hyperbola. An inverse variation hyperbola never passes through the origin. An inverse variation hyperbola never crosses the x nor the y-axis. The x and the y-axis are called the asymptotes of the hyperbola. Let us consider the graph of the inverse variation y is equal to 2 over x. Notice that in one branch of the hyperbola, as the values of x increases, the values of y decreases. The same thing holds true with the other branch of the hyperbola. As the values of x increases, the values of y decreases. Given a table of values, we can determine whether it describes an inverse variation. From the definition of an inverse variation y is equal to k over x, this implies that the product xy is equal to k. Let us have some examples. Determine whether the following table of values describe an inverse variation. Letter A, we have the values of x, negative 5, negative 3, 4, 8, 24, and the corresponding values of y, 2.4, 4, negative 3, negative 1.5, negative 0.5. Notice that the products x, y is a constant. Negative 5 times 2.4 is negative 12 that is equal to the product negative 3 times 4 also 4 times negative 3 also 8 times negative 1.5 and 24 times negative 0.5 these are all equal to negative 12 hence the table of values 
in letter A describes an inverse variation. Let us have another one. Letter B. The values of x here are negative 2, 0, 2, 5, 7. And the corresponding values of y are 3, 5, 7, 10, and 12. Let us have the products x, y. First, we have negative 2 times 3. Notice that this is not equal to the product 0 times 5. Also not equal to 2 times 7. Hence, the table of values in letter B does not describe an inverse variation. This time, let us have some problems involving inverse variation. For each of the following, y varies inversely as x. Find the constant of variation k, then write the equation of variation. Letter A, we have y is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 6. From the definition of inverse variation, xy is equal to k, then 6 times negative 3 is equal to k. So we have the constant of variation as equal to negative 18. Then the equation of variation will be y is equal to negative 18 over x. Next, let us have letter B. y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 0 0.3. Again, we multiply x times y. That will be equal to k. So we have 0.3 times 4. And that is equal to 1.2. So k is equal to 1.2. Then we have the equation of variation as y is equal to 1.2 over x. Example number 2. If y varies inversely as x and y equals 8 when x equals 12, find y when x equals 24. For this type of problem, notice that the problem can be divided into three parts. Number one, it states the type of variation. In here, it says y varies inversely as x. Then we can write the formula for the inverse variation that is y is equal to k over x. In the next part, it states the first set of values. In here, it says y equals a when x equals 12. From here, we can solve for the constant of variation by substituting y is equal to a and x equals 12 into the formula. So we have a is equal to k over 12. Multiplying both sides by 12, we can get k is equal to 8 times 12, that is 96. And from here, getting the constant of variation, we can now write the equation of variation. We have y is equal to 96 over x. The third part is stating the unknown. In here, it says find y when x equals 24. So we substitute x equals 24 to the equation of variation. So that we have y is equal to 96 over 24. And 96 over 24 is equal to 4. Therefore, y is equal to 4 when x equals 24. In the next example, we're going to use the proportion to solve for the unknown in an inverse variation. If i varies inversely as r and i equals 30 when r equals 3, find i when r equals 5. In here, we can get the first set of values that is r sub 1 is equal to 3 when i sub 1 is equal to 30. Now, r sub 2 is equal to 5, and we are looking for i sub 2. From the proportion statement in an indirect variation or inverse variation, r sub 1 over i sub 2 is equal to r sub 2 over i sub 1. 
substituting the values, we have 3 over i sub 2, that is unknown, is equal to 5 over 30. Hence, multiply both sides by 30 i sub 2, we'll have 90 is equal to 5 i sub 2. Dividing both sides by 5, we get i sub 2 is equal to 18. That's 90 divided by 5. Hence, i equals 18 when r is equal to 5. Example number 4. The number of hours required to finish a certain job varies inversely as the number of persons on the job. If 4 persons require 18 hours to finish the job, how long should it take 6 persons to finish the same job? For our solution, let P be equal to the number of persons to do the job, H the number of hours to finish the job, and K the constant of variation. From these representations, we can simplify the word problem as stating, if H equals 18, when P equals 4, we're looking for H when P equals 6. From this set of values, we can solve for the constant of the inverse variation. That is K is equal to PH. Substituting the first set of values, P equals 4 and H equals 18, K is equal to 4 times 18 and then k is equal to 72. If the constant of variation is equal to 72, then we can write the equation of the inverse variation as h is equal to 72 over p. From the second set of values, we're looking for h when p equals 6, then we can substitute P equals 6 to the equation of the inverse variation and solve for H. H is equal to 72 over 6. 72 divided by 6 is equal to 12. Then H is equal to 12. Hence, it will take 12 hours for 6 persons to finish the same job. Example number 5. It is known that the weight of an object is inversely proportional to the square of its distance from the center of the Earth. At sea level, that is 6,400 kilometers from the center of the Earth, an astronaut weighs 110 kilograms. Find his weight when he is 210 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. For our solution, let D be the distance from the center of the Earth. W, the weight of the astronaut, and K, the constant of variation. From the problem, we can write the formula for inverse variation as W is equal to K over D squared. Since it says, the weight of an object is inversely proportional to the square of its distance from the center of the Earth. Multiplying both sides of this formula by d squared, we can get the value of k that is equal to w d squared. Hence, we can substitute the first set of values where w is 110 and d is 6400 to get the value of k. k is equal to 110 times 6400 squared. Now, the equation of the inverse variation will be W is equal to 110 times 6,400 squared, that is the value of K, over D squared. Now, we're looking for W when the astronaut is 210 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Therefore, the astronaut is 6,400 plus 210 kilometers away from the center of the Earth. So we can solve for W as 110 times 6,400 squared over 6,400 plus 210. That is the distance of the astronaut from the center of the Earth. 
squared. Then W is equal to 103.12 kilograms. Example number 6. Suppose A varies inversely as the square of B. If B is doubled, what is the effect on A? From the given information, we have A varies inversely when K is the constant of variation as the square of B. So we have A is equal to K over B squared. If B is doubled, what happens to the right hand side of the equation? Then we have K over 2B squared. This is equal to k over 4b squared, which is one-fourth of k over b squared. The value of a is multiplied by one-fourth, or the value of a is divided by 4. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math lessons.